Hi, here we are at Las Vegas at the Speedball with Daimler Trucks North America and we're at the Ride and Drive event and one of the top vehicles that we're going to look at is the e Cascadia. We're going to be driving it later on. It's got a range of in or around about 250 miles but it's basically also like the E-Actros, Daimler and maximising and leveraging the global ways of doing the vehicle. But the big difference here is, of course, in Europe and the UK, we're running at 90, 90 kph, 56 miles an hour. But in the US, they can be running at 80 miles an hour. So that's a massive difference and a challenge for the operators. But hey, let's go and have a look inside. Actually, when I think about it, it's probably better that we get the expert to have a look at it and then we can talk a little bit more about it. So I'll give Andrea the opportunity and I'll get in the back and ask him all the relevant questions. Let's see if we can beat this big group. We so the power power rating, what's that? What's the power rating uh, on this? 500 kilowatt peak right. on, this, on this vehicle. For production, it's going to be somewhere near 700 Kilowatt. Okay. Uh, it, should be your, it should be in your media package. Right, okay. And um, range wise? The reason I'm, I'm not sure is because yeah. yeah, we're still working with a few different configurations. And mm -hmm. we obviously don't want to give our customer an overpowered vehicle. It's just a waste of money and, and weight, right? So yeah. We're trying to nail down exactly what they need. And sorry, what was your other question? Uh, the range, really. Yeah, range yeah. 250 miles, 400 kilometers. Yeah, okay, that's good. And uh, one thing we've been learning uh, as we were talking with our customers and we're doing this innovation fleet is that a lot of customers don't want the maximum range. They just want the range they need to deliver their cargo. Right, Otherwise, okay. Otherwise, you know, they're sacrificing the payload and also paying a little bit more for the battery pack. It's definitely the most expensive part of the vehicle is the battery pack. What's um, the time for charging batteries? For production, our target is 90 minutes, uh, on yes. 80% charge. Mm -hmm. That's fast. Yeah, it's it's fast, and, and to be honest with you, the charging infrastructure. <laughs> yeah, charging infrastructure and the charging stations are not yet available mm -hmm. for that. So, mm -hmm. um, in parallel, we're working with uh, an industry group called Charin. We're working with some major OEMs and suppliers to come up with a new standard um, that will allow for high power charging. So is this a Chalamo charger? What's the connection on this? This is a CCS1. Okay. Okay. I see you using the uh, engine braking system. So what's you doing? What are you doing with that? Yeah, this this allows me to regulate how much uh, regenerative braking I have. Mm. So this is the highest, number five, and then so it's and then this is coasting basically. So it's five steps rather than like a three-step engine yeah, brake. So you've, exactly. you've you've put five in. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. So. As uh, when I drive on the freeway with a diesel truck, I prefer not to use my legs at all. Brilliant. Of course, as a prototype vehicle, some integration issues are still there. <laughs> saw that with our, our braking system. Yeah. Uh, we'll get there. Okay, so fine. Daimler quality products. <laughs> 